It's that time of the year. It's the Senior Summit, May 17th. 19 years we're celebrating, and this year we're going to take you back to the 60s. And today, I'm with one of our bronze sponsors. It's Tim Allen from Chesapeake Hearing Centers. 19 years. You've been there since the beginning, Tim. What's it like? It's fantastic. It, this is always, working with Queen Anne's County has just always been a pleasure. This event from the inception has just been wonderful. The time of year out at the fairground or the 4-H park right. is just a wonderful spot to be. Um, we see a lot of friends. We see a lot of patients. We see a lot of new friends, people. Yeah. We make new friends. Uh, and we always have a very good time. Entertainment's great. The exhibitors are great. Mm -hmm. uh, can't think of somewhere else to be on, yeah. in, on that date. And it's free. And it's free. <laughs> and there, there's so many goodies to get. There's oh, food yeah. to have. Oh, yeah. Man, why are you missing it? I, I don't know why. Anyone, <laughs> anyone who lives in Queen Anne's County or a neighboring county that yep. has uh, interest in services for seniors. Yep. And, you know, seniors are a lot younger than seniors used to be. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot of services out there. Yeah. You, you name it, uh, you can find it there. Yeah. And uh, perfectly said. But let's talk about your service that you're going to be talking about. So Chesapeake Hearing Center, what, what's something they might be discussing with you when they show up? Well, you know, we, we are in the business of hearing and hearing aids. Mm -hmm. We're an audiology practice. And the difference between an audiologist and, and say a dispenser, which I am a dispenser, is an audiologist has a doctorate in audiology. So they've spent many years studying the hearing, just that portion yeah. of your health. Um, and and they, they're very qualified to work with you. Uh, so while we work with hearing, we really work mostly with communication. Because if you can't hear, you can't communicate. And we have found that through the use of hearing aids or counseling, that patients communicate better with others. Yeah. Uh, loved ones, friends, family, Maybe not so loved ones, but, <laughs> but they get along. And when you, you hear better, life is just better. Right. Um, a big push right now in the industry is there's been a lot of research done in the correlation of uh, early onset of dementia and mm -hmm. untreated hearing loss and other health concerns, diabetes, heart, heart disease, fall disorders. Things like that are, are exacerbated by untreated hearing loss. Right. And it seems like, Tim, the world's getting a little bit louder. <laughs> oh my right? gosh, yes. Yeah, and we're seeing that the, uh, the people that we treat are younger and younger. Right. Uh, you know, if you go to a rock band or rock mm -hmm. concert, you know, a lot of us that grew up in the 60s, uh, we've seen a lot of really great music over yeah. the years, but they didn't have big amplifiers. They had kind of small kits that they mm -hmm. would use. Nowadays, you go to a concert now, they blast you out. Yeah. They're, they're way above a comfortable level or a safe level for hearing. Right. And I, I don't know how popular it is yet, but it's definitely getting there. But some people have it in their ears. My daughter. Oh, it's absolutely. It's in her ears 24-7. Yeah, the earbuds. Now, you know, there's a lot of talk about that as well. But, but the earbuds, you have no filtering between your ear and the sound. Yeah. So you're basically wearing a hearing aid at that point, but you're turning it way up mm -hmm. because I don't know about you, but I've walked up to people wearing earbuds and they go, hold it a sec and they pull it out because right. they didn't hear a word you said. Right. Um, and that's a danger. If yeah. it's so loud, worse yet is if you can hear it beyond them hearing yeah, it. Yeah, which is that's, amazing. That's yeah. a dangerous level. Right. You should never he be able to hear someone's earbud. Yeah. Um, and, and a lot of, I know younger kids that, that we have seen an uptick in hearing losses in, in younger adults. Yeah. Uh, and it, it's, there was a study done at, uh, I believe it was LSU in the South with their band members where they had an opportunity to wear custom uh, musician earplugs mm -hmm. in the marching band. And half of them wore them, half of them didn't. Mm. The ones that didn't wear, they saw an uptick in, in hearing loss. Wow. So, so it's being found in different areas and it's more, the more we know, you know, you would think in this day and age when we seem to know everything at the touch of our cell phone, right. um, we would understand the dangers. Right. Uh, but we seem to be the tip of the iceberg of the dangers of hearing loss. Yeah. So it sounds like things could be changing. Things are always kind of uh, evolving. We're learning so much. And if someone has visited with you or talked to you before at the previous uh, summits, 
there's some great new information that you might be able to give them this year. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, as far as the hearing devices, mm -hmm. they're always making inroads to give better sound processing. Right. Um, and the better sound processing we get, the more people we can treat, and the more we can help them in other avenues. Mm -hmm. um, AI, uh, we have hearing aids with AI in it. You know, that's the big term. Yeah. But, but it helps the, the hearing aids learn your tendencies so they know when to amplify and when not. That's they, fascinating. They work with um, helping people. There's one way you can uh, monitor for falling. If you, if you fall wearing one of these AI hearing aids, it will chirp back to you and say, are you okay? And if you don't respond, it notifies a loved one and 911. That's amazing. And you're geotagged so they know exactly where you are. So when they come, they know where to find you. So that's pretty good power. Yeah, that's um, great. And, and a great addition. Yeah. Uh, they are working on other health issues. There's a lot of uh, work being done in the background on that. But, but hearing aids can benefit people way more than just hearing. Yeah. Um, it's, it's living life, it's enjoying life. Uh, when I said earlier, there was this, this study out about uh, possible early death. Mm -hmm. So loneliness is finally something that the health community is paying attention to. And loneliness, while it, it sounds like it's not a health thing, but someone who is lonely truly does, they don't pay attention to other things in their health, but they are also stressed. You would think if you're all alone, you're not stressed, but you're lonely. Mm -hmm. And there's certain endorphins that push that it, usually it's fear that would be the fearful because if you're lonely, it's the same thing. And if you're always fearful, you're pushing too much. You're overworking your heart and it can, it can wear you out. So loneliness, why are you lonely? Well, I can't hear anyone. I don't go out in public because I don't understand what people are saying. How do you fight that? You, you get something that helps you communicate better, whether it's a hearing device, whether it's from us over the counter or just something that amplifies sound. You do something so that you can hear better and that will combat that. That's amazing. We have your website up. Yeah. So if people want more information. Oh, absolutely. Helpyourhearing.com. When you go to the website, there's this fine young little chat. Yeah, we just will we come up. It. Yeah, it's right down the corner. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's a great way to get in touch with us. Yeah. Uh, I encourage people to go. Don't, you know, calling in on the phone, we have a lot of people that call us during the day, and it's, it's hard to keep up with the amount of phone calls. But if you go to our website and reach out to us, someone will call you, mm -hmm. and we'll call you back pretty quickly. Um, the chat, they'll ask you why you're reaching out. You could be a patient and just saying, I need to get some batteries. So we know exactly why we're reaching out to you. Um, but but it, it's a great way to contact us. And it you know you can get it on your phone, you can yep. get it on your laptop, you can get it on your desktop. So let's bring it back to the Senior Summit. You know, this year they're, they're introducing bingo this year. Oh! So they're gonna have a DJ, oh. bingo, free food. But what's one of your favorite things that you get to see at the Summit every year? Oh, the people. Yeah. I, I love it when people come out dressed for it yeah i mean in this year with the 60s oh, um, you have a lot to play with i'm hoping <laughs> i'm hoping i see some outfits because some people come out very you know dressed for it yeah uh as i said our staff fights over who gets to work it yeah um so we actually share the responsibility through the day so no one's left out that's great um so but the you, food is going to be wearing what am I? Oh, that's a secret. Oh, okay, so they gotta you come. Gotta, you gotta they come, gotta and come to find out. Okay. Yeah, come to see. <laughs> I mean, as I said, I, I was I was kicking during the sixties. I might have, I might still have a T-shirt from that. All right, that, that's enough for me. Then that <laughs> should be enough for you to come see Tim at the Senior Summit. It's May seventeenth, nine to two at the Four H Park. It's gonna be a great time. You're about to say great food. Oh, and excellent it's free. food. Yes, yeah, and it's free. All right. Well, we can't wait to see them there. Okay. Thanks for watching.